Shalom, all praise is honor and glorification unto our power. Call Halayim La Alahayim Nawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakudash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Allah coming to you with another lesson, and Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled. Discipline is necessary for improvement and growth. And the topic will be dealing with the word discipline. And our Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh Bashami, I wish I'd be edified. So, first and foremost, I want to uh, get the definition of the word discipline. And then, Lord willing, we'll get into the, some of these, well, all of them, Lord willing, that I have a uh, plan to bring out. So uh, discipline right here, it says the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct obedience, uh, disobedience. Right here, it says train someone to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. Right. Train, drill, teach. You see control, regulation. Right. Let me get that word regulation. A rule of directive made and maintained by an authority. Right. So, you know, both of those are, you know, yeah, both of those are pretty, pretty valid for the most part. So, um, and let me see if we can do something else going further more into the word discipline, Salaki. So yeah. Okay, let's go here. But let's uh let me uh look up the word discipline in the blue letter. All right, discipline. All right? You see control, direction, order, authority, rule, strictness, a firm hand, and that's the point, strictness. That's the point. Training, regimen, right, routine, instructing, dr uh, instruction, drill, drilling, exercise, use of punishment, right? Good behavior, self-restraint, you see that? Control, self-govern, uh, self-government, -gov self-control, that's also the point. Look, and uh, down here, number two, keep, uh, bring slash keep under control, keep in check, curb. Keep a tight rein on, right? Which the word rein goes into uh, basically rule. Well, actually, that's spelled different, so that might be that word rein, like how you uh, rein over people, right? Meaning rule. That's spelled uh, different. But um, now getting into the scriptures, let me get the book of um, Second Peter chapter three and verse seventeen. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, but where lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to him be glory both now and forever, Amen. Right? And in order to grow in grace, well, in order to grow in uh, grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, Discipline must be exercised, right? Discipline must be performed, right? The deed of uh, discipline, the act of discipline, or the act of shewing discipline must be performed, right? Like it says in the title, in order, basically in order to improve and grow, discipline must be exercised, right? So the next scripture that I want to get is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 16. For she goeth about, which the she is speaking of wisdom, for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, sheweth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is a love, and love is the fulfilling, I'm sorry, and love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. 
and in corruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Right? And that's what we're, we're seeking, as it says in uh, the book of, which is what we ought to seek, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemi Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right? Just bringing that out really quick, or briefly, as a better term. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, and verse 21. If your delight be then in thrones and scriptures, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. And see, that's the word reign right there that I was talking about. Right? Reign meaning rule. <clears throat> so um, the next scripture that I want to get, Lord willing, this will be pretty much of a quick hitter. I do have a good amount of scriptures, though. Uh, but this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 4, verse 11. Wisdom exalteth her children and layeth hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her loveth life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her the Lord doth love. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Which that's how it uh, took place in the ancient world. You know, the different uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, but the different things the different things of wisdom will be passed down from generation to generation. Right? And just on a particular tip, like knowing how to hunt, knowing how to fish, right? But even, you know, deep, going into deeper things, out, uh, deeper than those things, right? <clears throat> right? So, um... Let me see, uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, verse 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and shew him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Right? So notice it said, uh, and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Right? So the next scripture that I want to get is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 18. And uh, I believe it's verse 14. Yep, Ecclesiasticus chapter 18 and verse 14. Bear with me. He have mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgment. And, uh, yep. Oh, the, well, the next one is uh, 1 Peter 2 and 2 through 3. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2 through 3. As newborn babes de desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Right? which requires discipline because the milk is basically the foundation right the simpler things of the scriptures if you will right which you know to some people the the, the foundation you know may uh which really if you find that you know which uh you know this truth is not about entertainment right it's about learning, it's about growth, you know, it's about amendment, right, change, right, it's about repentance, so on and so forth. And ultimately, it's about Yahweh, you know. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that.
First Peter 2 and 2, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that he may grow thereby, which, like I said, requires discipline. You know? Because that's the foundation. You have certain people that want to be all deep, which what do the scriptures say? Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus 3 and 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. Right? Knowing what color David's hair, King David's hair was is an unnecessary matter. And that's just an, that's a loose example, you know. Right? It says, be not curious in unnecessary matters. Unnecessary according to what? Salvation. Is this necessary for in order for me to receive salvation? Right? So you can understand. Right? So verse 23, be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shrewd unto thee than men understand. 24, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. And, you know, regarding that, the 24th, fourth verse, that's what you see. Really, that's a heavy vibration within America. Everybody has their own opinion, right? A bunch of goddamn gray areas. There's no sure standard that these people submit unto, which the true standard that determines whether something is right or wrong, true or false, so on and so forth, is the word of the Lord. But these people uh, lack acknowledgement of the word of the Lord, right? They think everything is a damn joke. You know, so you ask somebody something in regards to, you know, uh, basically, is this right or wrong type of question? And they'll say, well, I feel it's not about your pussy feelings, man. Right. It's about whether it's right or wrong. And what's the standard? What's the measuring stick? The word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right. And that's something that has to be instilled in your mind coming into the truth all of us right me me first and foremost you know which i'm heavy on that like i'm he i'm real heavy on that you know like i have a saying like if somebody tells me something i'll say according to what standard <laughs> you know you think that's right or wrong? Okay, according to what standard? Oh, okay, let's bring out the scriptures. Right, you know? Then that's how it's supposed to be, man. Right, so the next scripture that I want to get is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 32. I think it's 14. Let me see. Yep, 14. Whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline, and they that seek him early shall find favor. Right? Like the scriptures say, uh, what is it? Seek, seek the Lord while the evil, no. Well, seek ye the most high while he may be found. But it also says, uh, well, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So now let me get Ecclesiasticus 23 and 7. Hear, O ye children, the discipline of the mouth. He that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips. Right? And discipline can be exercised in many things, right? What, what you spew out of your mouth, you got to be disciplined. Your behavior, you have to be disciplined, right? Your conversation, meaning what? Manner of life. You, within that, ex, uh, discipline must be exercised, you know, in order to walk in the proper way to the best of, your, to the best of our ability. So uh, next, let me get the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 13. They knew not his statutes. The day is talking about Jake. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of his discipline. I'm sorry, of of discipline in his righteousness. And contrary to that, that's what we must do. Try, uh, trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness, of the, in the Lord's righteousness. Right? Which to try. Walk in a specified way, right? Well, like you got the term treading water. That's a, it's a particular 
movement, right? And we'll tread, walk in a specified way, okay? So the next scripture that I want to get, and Lord willing, I'll end it with this. Because I said contrary to this, because it says, um, or because it says, nor tried in the paths of discipline and his righteousness. Contrary to that, we must do the opposite. We must tried in the uh tried in the paths of his uh of discipline and his righteousness. So Lord will I now end up with this. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse twenty eight. For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned seek him ten times more. So with that, Lord willing you were edified once again and forever all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halain La Allah Hayanawa Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba. Wa Shalawan. DTA soon. And uh, we have the new moon coming in on the 28th, right? So, uh, hey, Shalom. Stay sharp.